space travel has become quite a competitive industry in the last decade. There was a time when NASA and private agencies like Boeing enjoyed a non-competitive environment, but not anymore. With the rise of agencies like SpaceX, Boeing is losing its edge it once had. And this story is about one such recent event, when Boeing lost one of its biggest contracts to SpaceX. At the start of space cargo and crew programs, the biggest competitors were Boeing and SpaceX, but everyone underestimated SpaceX saying that Boeing was a better success story in the industry. Well, today SpaceX is preparing to make the sixth flight after its first test flight with astronauts, and guess where Boeing is? Yep, still on the ground. You won't believe it, but following the jaw-dropping success of SpaceX, even NASA's top administrators like Bill Nelson, who once doubted SpaceX, are finally putting prejudice aside and realizing that Boeing's Starliners is a very bad when compared to SpaceX's Dragon. NASA halted its space shuttle program back in 2011 because of several reasons. It was a high-cost, low-utility program that was not the best choice for space travel. So it met its fate and was stopped in 2011. Since then, NASA was using the services of Russian space agencies to get their astronauts into space. However, back in 2002, SpaceX was announced as a private agency native to America. And though no one heard what they were onto for at least four years since their foundation, SpaceX showed the world what they were capable of in 2006 by launching its very first rocket prototype. And since then, SpaceX has been improving and getting better at what they do. It's not like they were always perfect and did not do any mistakes. As a matter of fact, a lot of test projects failed. At this one time, Elon Musk announced that SpaceX was on the verge of bankruptcy, but somehow Elon managed to keep the company afloat, and their upcoming successful launches changed the whole game for the company and industry. SpaceX did this by introducing a reusable rocket booster in the industry, and by successfully bringing the booster back to Earth, they changed the way people look toward them. There was a time when they bid for a contract from NASA and everyone booed at them and said that Boeing is a legacy company. According to those critics, no matter how far SpaceX goes, it would never be able to achieve what Boeing has. These were the days when SpaceX had just started its test missions, and it was failing at a lot of those. And considering their situation, critics started making fun of the company. Boeing obviously showed better statistics, so everyone was ready to bet their money on them. Today, though, SpaceX has proven all its critics wrong, and that's not just an opinion. Recently, the boss of NASA said this, Everyone poo-pooed against Elon Musk's SpaceX when it bid against Boeing, stating that Boeing is a legacy company. But see what SpaceX has accomplished today. And when you consider how much SpaceX has accomplished in the last few years, you understand that SpaceX is not an ordinary player in the market. In just the previous few years, they have brought a revolution in the space industry. And now, they are on their way to revolutionizing space travel forever. It's just extraordinary. All of those abandoned launch pads mm. on Cape Canaveral, they've come to life. Um, it's now not unusual that there's a space launch every week. Uh, and uh, there's an exciting time ahead. With their successful rockets, including Dragon, Falcon 9, and a Falcon Heavy on their portfolio, once they launch their new Starship, it's going to be a total game changer. That's when it's the game over situation for Boeing that comes in. There is no doubt that Boeing has enjoyed some very successful years, while no one was there to give them competition. But I guess it's over for them. At least currently, they are in no position to compete with SpaceX. NASA has its eyes on the lunar surface, and they want to land their astronauts on the moon. NASA's own human landing system, or HLS, with Artemis rocket lifted off a few weeks ago, and now NASA wants SpaceX to work with them and help them land their Orion capsule on the moon's surface. NASA has recently awarded SpaceX with 14 missions, which include crewed missions to the International Space Station and other payload missions. On the other hand, Boeing has been given just six. This proved that SpaceX got the substance to beat all its competitors, and that's how it should be. We all know that SpaceX has conducted several successful missions, while the Starliner spacecraft from Boeing is idling at the launch pad. Even if Boeing manages to launch their rocket tomorrow, which is absolutely impossible, even then they will not be able to compete with the achievements of SpaceX. 
Senator Bill Nelson, who is the administrator of NASA, couldn't stop but appreciate the accomplishment of SpaceX. He said, When we plan to award contracts for crewed and payload missions, SpaceX and Boeing were two main bidders. And although a lot of people raise questions about SpaceX, today we can see who has successfully conducted six flights into space and who is still on the ground. I mean, SpaceX doesn't need appreciation from anyone, as we can see how they have managed to get their Starlink internet satellites into space. They are far away from achieving the goal of sending 30,000 satellites. But we know that over 2,000 satellites that are orbiting were sent by SpaceX's own rockets. There's this achievement, and then there is the Starship. NASA took over 12 years in building their SLS rocket, which would reinstate the mission to land astronauts on the lunar surface again. By comparison, SpaceX announced its Starship prototypes in 2020, and they are planning to launch it in the last few days of 2020. That's how efficient and next level their engineering is. So there is no doubt that SpaceX is on the track to change the course of private space travel. There are companies like Blue Origin who have joined the league with SpaceX, and with that one thing certain, that space traveling is going to be transformed once they hit their true potential. Already SpaceX has conducted test missions of Starship, and in a few years, it will be ready to take men to the lunar surface once again. But SpaceX has a bigger ambition, which is to land its Starship on the surface of Mars. I guess the ambitions are more than enough to let you know how forward-looking SpaceX is. I would just like to say that there is basically no comparison when it comes to the excellence that the space agency has achieved in a fraction of the time. There is a reason they were awarded the mission contracts by NASA. SpaceX doesn't go for tactics like lobbying to get the contracts. There were times when they didn't get any contracts. So what did they do? They kept working on their product. And today the world can see what they have been able to accomplish. SpaceX has taken astronauts to International Space Station in its Dragon spacecraft, and Starlink's many satellites are just an example of their capabilities. So have they won the race? Well, yes they have. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.